Alright guys, this is Love to Rock 24-7. Um, this is the logic board from that iMac. So. Look at all that dust. Um, but today, I'm going to be showing you how to replace bad capacitors. And let me grab this lens. How to replace those. And that. And that. It's supposed to be flat. I went over to my favorite place called Shield Electronics. Got the capacitors I need. Including one more for the power supply. This will completely stabilize the voltage in the power supply. I won't be showing you that, I'll just be showing you how to replace the caps on the logic board. First off, you have to completely remove the logic board. Then, um, when you put it back together, you're going to need to clean this chip off. And right here on the front of the Mac, there's this copper plate. You're going to need to clean that uh, thermal paste off. So you're also going to need to have a tube of thermal paste, wherever mine is. Oh well, I'll find it. I always do. Tools you'll need a desoldering iron, Get some more a desoldering iron, um, prefer ah, preferably a soldering iron that can get really, really hot. Like this one, I think, is able to get up to 800 degrees. And you're going to need a soldering iron. I've got this soldering station at um, Radio Shack or uh, 20 bucks. This was 10 bucks. Um, another thing, you're going to need to wet the sponge. And one thing I like to do is have a sharpie and um, Mark on the logic board where the bad caps are. So there. There. here. Now, once you've done that, comes the fun part, where you take your desoldering iron, over like that, okay, sometimes it's not going to work, so you're going to need to actually apply solder. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Another handy thing to have is a rosin flux pen. Okay. Let's 
had some fire for this, but what? You may also need to pick the board up and rock the capacitor back and forth. So that's one of the back capacitors. If you couldn't tell. See. Wait, let me just the picture. Okay, that's what a back capacitor looks like. Well, so now you get a one of your new ones. Another thing you're going to need to do is also check polarity. Like on Apple motherboard, on logic, on Apple logic board, excuse me, um, they have a positive and they don't list the negative. Well, the long lead is the positive, the short lead is the negative. So it would go in like that. Bend them out like that. See these leaves? See how they're, they're up like this? Just grab them, push them down. And then you take your solder. Solder comes in two things. You can get it like this, or you can get it in a spool. So you can get it like this or this. I got it like this because it's easier to handle and you don't have to worry about burning yourself, but I do have the spools as well. So you tin your wire a little bit. Also, if you want to get your flux out, if you've used flux. Some flux on it. What flux does is it helps the solder move uh, flow better on the board. Mm -hmm. Now, 
it's like a small screwdriver or something, turn the leaf up because now they're hot. They have to cut the leaves. Well, that didn't solder well, but I cut it off with it. A handy thing to use to cut the leaves are, if I can find a pair. Nail clippers. Take it. Uh, leaf. Just like that. And try to get it pretty flat. And you also want to make sure that none of the solder touches anything else. Like you don't want the two to touch each other. So then that creates a short instead of fixing the problem in the circuit. You just created one. Let me touch up on the solder. Alright. And so you do that for all the rest of the capacitors. I'm going to kill the camera and then I'm going to be back with another update when I have all the capacitors replaced and then I'll um, put the computer back together and to show you the first time boot of it with all new capacitors. Alright, I'll be back.